Hey there. So, you're one of us, aren't you? Mind if I ask you a few questions? Question one. When you travel, you usually... Well, if that's your idea of fun. <laughs> Kidding. So, next question. When you're traveling, do you follow the itinerary or are you more spontaneous? Good to know. And what about politics? What would you do if you disagreed with our country's government? Right on. Oh, one last question. When you watch a movie, you do so to... But you might also watch a movie to... <laughs> Thanks. Good to know. And I guess you're like the other runaway teens, trying to flee Petria. It's really dangerous to cross the border. You have to be careful with the people you meet on the way, believe me. Don't go fainting on me. But each decision could shape your destiny and Petria's too. Okay, I guess it's time for you to hit the road. I hope you're ready. Here at our nation's border under National Mountain, the site of the Black Brigade terrorist attack in 86. If you don't remember, hundreds died that day when a brigade truck carrying explosive devices crashed into the mountain, triggering its peak to collapse. In two months, on the same day as the nation's election, in the same spot where I'm standing, the 10 year commemoration honoring the victims. Stand will take place. In all your darn money, bitch! Yeah, all your darn money! Robbery in progress. All cars in the area respond immediately. Unit 2 here, on my way. Over. President Tyrak, the man who built the border wall behind me, protecting our nation, will be there. Protecting our nation? Ha! Huh. This event promises to be a solemn moment, and a time to celebrate the announcement of our next president. Ugh, total BS. Of course, I'll be there live, giving you the real story as it unfolds. This has been GNN Sonia Sanchez reporting live. Homegirl, now I got time to work on this game. Anywhere with free electricity. Just need to charge my super dope tech in the back. Yo, go on. Ask me a question. I can multitask like an MFR. -er. Yeah. Be careful with what you eat. Try to avoid rotting food. But, you know, beggars can't always be choosers and all that. You want out real bad. I can tell. Now, let me get back to this beta. complete. I sell my games, you know. Built that computer, too. One day, everyone will have a computer like that. I'm telling you, small computers are the future. Hungry? Ask your small computer for food. Lost? Ask your small computer for directions. That's the future, homegirl. I'm telling you. Yo, are we gonna play this bad boy or not?
It's called Furious Tanks. You got tanks, and they're furious. You're blue. This is easy mode. Red tank can't fire. It's like begging you to blow it up. You got skills. Now we play for real. Uh-oh. Alex is about to take off the gloves. Ouch. Yo, maybe we can make it better. Maybe the player has to gather ammo? Maybe the bullets bounce off the walls? What do you think? Let me just... Boom! Game time, yo. So, what do you think? And be honest, I hate liars. Okay, let me change this real quick. Done. What do you think now? Dang. Let me make some changes. Done. Want to change anything else? What do you think now? Nice. Here's an advance on the profits. And there are sure to be profits. I ain't playing around. Yo, one day 100 people will play the same game at the same time. Yeah, homegirl, I really do. I'm like the Nostradamus of our modern era. No one. I just picked it up on my own. My intellect is vast and sponge-like, yo. It's not you, homegirl. It's just, I don't know my parents. Not my real parents, anyway. You know the attack in 86? Yeah. Well, I think my bio parents died in the attack, too. The really sad part is, I got no memories of them. None. No matter how hard I try, I just have this picture. It's from GNN, the day of the attack. They appear for just one sec. I learned a lot about computers enhancing this. Yeah, in a way, I guess my bio parents did teach me about computers. Thanks, homegirl. Guess I needed to talk and didn't know it. And that's why I'm on the road. They're probably gone. You know, buried underneath the rocks. But I want to find out as much about them as I can. Thanks, homegirl. You can drop me off at the next location. Yo, your fuel is low. 
You're gonna run out of gas fast. Thanks, homegirl. Appreciate that. Now, crank some music. We best ride in style. You're gonna vote, right? Oh, okay, good. You know, that's another reason Tyrak sends you teens, you know where. So that your vote can't be heard. That's Mr. Bottles. Don't be fooled. Dude is a wild man. Just give me the money and I won't call the cops. A guy got stabbed here two days ago and they never came. The cops aren't gonna show for this. I don't have time for this. Just admit you stole from me and... I didn't do it. <sighs> she stole money from my office then tried to pay our rent with it. I don't need your money, man. Who are you? Her attorney? No, I don't have proof! She turned off my security camera! She's a criminal mastermind! You teens! I don't need the hassle! I'm out of here! <sighs> you didn't have to do that, you know. I was handling it. Oh, I've met worse. Believe me. Anyway... Welcome to the Night Skies Campground. If you like crappy trailers, this place is the best. To look at the stars? I know, I know, it's cheesy. Go up there to the office. But the owner won't be happy to see you. No sweat. Hey, don't become roadkill out there, okay? What do you want? I got trailers here, trailers you can sleep in, if you got the dough. I'm right here. I got trailers here, trailers you can sleep in, if you got the dough.
You don't know where you're going, do you? <laughs> if you want to run a trailer, go up the stairs to my right and talk to the owner. Otherwise, find the dancing guy. There's cardboard near him. <laughs> You said you'd give me another week. This is 191.9, the voice of the brigades. This is your papa baby here. With the upcoming fraud of an election, more and more countries are calling for the resignation of tyrant. I mean, Tyrak. But will he step down? Of course not. Which is why, dear listeners, we must resist this man and his government as much as we can. And now, here's a tune from a fresh new band. Remember, Papa Baby loves you. You left the radio outside, Denny. Turn it off before you get us arrested. Hey, you got any money? Oh, well, um, hope you reached the border and all that. Feel free to join if you can hang. No one can really dance with me. I'm on another level, but knock yourself out. See what I mean about not being able to dance with me? There's some cardboard right there beside that guy, but he's a snorer. The, there's some cardboard right there, but I gotta warn you, I'm a snorer. You don't know where you're going, do you? show you to your spacious trailer. with me. Up here. Come here. Sit with me. You don't have any marshmallows, do you? Sorry. I ask everyone that. Anyway, it's nice to have someone normal around here. I left home at the start of the summer. I wanted to get out of Petria, like you, I think. My dad thinks I'm on a big road trip. Truth is, I'm never going back home again. To have a normal life, 
My dad says I'm lucky because I have a privileged life here. But that life disgusts me, especially now that I know... Uh, never mind. I... I don't know. Only about 1% of us do, or so I hear. And you know what happens to the rest. The pits, or worse. Where they send kids they think are gonna cross. Terrible things happen there. And I really hope I never experience them for myself. Well, enough about all that. Hey, why don't we play a little music? Let's play Bella Chow. I used to play this all the time. You know. Come on, don't be scared. Give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Okay, now let's try it with the music. <laughs> I should be recording this. <laughs> Sweat it. I was gonna leave anyway, but I'm just sorry for you. That's sweet, but I think I need to travel on my own. It's important to me, you know? Thanks for understanding. Well, we should probably start packing, huh? Good luck out there. Oh, uh, uh, this is for you, to remember this moment. Unit 2 to Central. Come in. I'm not a bad person. That's enough. What are you looking at, kid? That's what I thought. I'm not really in the mood for a chat. But fine. Go ahead. I'm everywhere these days, including Road 96. I'm working a case that requires it. There are, yeah. And the big man wants more. Why do you want to know, anyway? I'm not sure I believe you. Unit 2 to Central, come in. Unit 2 to Central. Hey. You gotta help me. 
She's taking me to the pits. Oh, come on. Could be you sitting here. Turn around. And you, stay out of this. To the nearest station, but that's none of your business. They're gonna send me to the pits to mine. I'll never see my family again. Of course he'll see his family. And remind me why I'm telling you this. Then why the missing teen posters? That's just brigade misinformation is all. Oh, you don't really believe that, do you? Huh? Believe what? That the teen word camp doesn't exist. Ma'am, now's not the time for a discussion. I'm just doing my job. We should. You don't seem like a bad person, officer. Just confused. Confused? Ha! You liberals crack me up. Look, this is official police business. My car broke down, okay? I hate to say it, but they are. They absolutely are. I'm nobody's puppet. Look, I've heard the stories too, but they're false. Fake news. Fake news? <laughs> Mother, I'd never send a kid to a place like that. Not intentionally, I know, but you are. What did you arrest this kid for? Look, I'm not gonna... Ugh. He was trying to cross the border, okay? Then he's gonna end up, you know where, whether you think they exist or not. That's enough, sir. Now, both of you, please turn around. Unit 2 to Central. Come in. Unit 2 to Central. Where are they? Citizens should be able to arrest cops. You know that? To keep them honest. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Can we pretend you, you never arrested me? Quiet back there! Actually, it's a good idea. Does anyone know you've arrested him? No, but... Now that's enough! From everyone! Please, officer. Just get off at the next stop. That's all you have to do. I'm not gonna say it again! Unit 2 to Central. Come in! Unit 2 to Central. Stop telling me what to do! All of you! What's going on here? He woke me up. Ah! Whoa, whoa! Take it easy! You've crossed the line! Unit 2, this is Central. Everything okay? Over? You can still do the right thing. Don't tell them about the kid. Unit 2, are you there? Unit 2 here! I... just wanted to tell you I had some car trouble. I'm on the bus now. Over. Unit 2, I... I need a car to pick me up. gonna be all right, okay?
Okay, we all know the plan, right? Yes. Totally. Let's do this. Uh, guys, is it me? Or is that kid over there listening to us? Nothing to see here, kid. Get lost, kid. Sonia, it's almost time. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I insulted him one time too many. Look, find someone to film this, and now you know how important this is to it. Where am I gonna find a loser? To... Hey, you there! It's your lucky day. Sonia has a job for you. The best kind. You get to film me for television. Perfect! Then you're my new camera operator. Now get behind the camera. Time to make some effing magic. This is just a little puff piece on the pump, Cuddle Muffin. Nothing to it. We have a sec if you want to, like, talk to me. I'd get my take on something important. Teens trying to cross is our bread and butter at GNM. I've even heard about kids crossing via Mount National. Can you imagine? Check, 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 check. Objective journalism don't get many views, sweetie. Okay, let's go. We'll start with the intro. Oh, this is good with the billboard behind me. How do I look? <laughs> Wait, I know. Amazing. Yeah, just like that. Three, two, one. Sonia here, reporting live from the site of Petria's newest oil pub, where the Minister of Oil is moments away from a speech. The new pump, a gift from President Tyrak, will soon bring riches to our already rich nation. And cut! Oh my god, we effing destroyed that! Good, because we just started. But here, take this! Call it a taste. <laughs> forget to take some close-ups. And what a beautiful and strong pump it is. Like our nation, like our president. Speaking of our president, let us cheer him to show our appreciation. Nice one, Dumplin. Loris. Loris believes we should abandon fossil fuels and take away your jobs. What do you, the hardworking people of Petria, think of Lupe Flores? Good, cutie pie. Real good. There's been a lot of talk of a brigade uprising. But am I worried? No. I've even let my teen daughter embark on a road trip. President Tyrak will keep our nation safe. Praise President Tyrak! <laughs> With that said, who you vote? Tyrak is a liar! Teens are being imprisoned every day! Tyrak is a fascist dictator! Vote for Flores! Save our country! 
Stop them! Now! Run! I'm here, Sonya. Oh, shut up. stories like that. Well, it's about time to drive off in my limo. Like all good journalists do when they finish a story. Look, to sum it up, your intro wasn't half bad. In fact, you did a good job the whole way. Here, buy yourself a new... everything. Well, I do believe it's time to go, sweet cakes. Adam! Let's roll! You've reached President Tyrak's campaign headquarters. Care to donate to his victory fund? Oh. Well, then you're wasting my time. on your hotline. Please note, any false information will result in criminal prosecution. You've reached the home of the Tomax. We're not home right now, but leave your name and message and we'll return your call as soon as possible. Praise President Tyrak! Happy Taxi, how can we help you today? We'll send a taxi to your location right away. Thank you for calling, Happy Taxi. further, I should let you know that I have some anger management issues. Now you know. So, where are we headed today with Happy Taxi? No. Sorry. What I mean is, the customer is always king. We sell scratch tickets if you're feeling lucky. Good luck.
Now sit back and enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi. That's a pager. Guess you don't know much about cutting edge tech. Let's see who's contacting me now. The Sonya Show! How did they get this number? Just a second. Damn. Piece of no good, son of a... I'm feeling much better now. Go on and ask me a question if you want to. I know all kinds of things. <sighs> I saw you looking at my mags. Are you a fan of dinosaurs? I won't get angry if you aren't. Good. Speaking of dinos, have you seen this movie that came out? Gigantic Park. It's okay. I won't get upset. What? I'm just kidding. Hey. Lean forward. I want to show you something. That's a portable VCR. Now I can watch tapes whenever I want. When GP comes out on VHS in Petria, I'll watch it every day. Of course it works. My daughter would have loved Gigantic Park. But she passed away. Well, bad things happen sometimes. But I'll make it right. And in the meantime, I won't think about that terrible thing that happened to her. I'd become very angry if I did. No. You should take a snooze. You're a teen and your brain is still developing. Sorry about that. I heard a noise earlier. Like screaming. What was that? You're not lying, are you? The VCR is warm. You watched one of my cassettes. Which cassette did you watch? One is very private to me. Oh, I see. That'll explain the screaming all right. It's pretty hardcore. We've almost reached your destination. I hope you'll consider riding with Happy Taxi again.
Snacks and drinks? Can I help you at all? Don't know whose stand it'd be if it wasn't. I just hope it'll actually be democratic, but I'm not holding my breath. Even if it's not voter intimidation, they have other ways of altering the results. Special 10-year commemoration of the collapse. There's some never-before-seen footage there. Oh, just proof that the government had explosives rigged on the mountain. Hold up there, kid. Not unless I let you. Maybe I won't. And why should I? Give me a good reason. How do I know? The enemy is getting smarter all the time. Hmm? Fine. You can go. But I don't like your attitude. wants to know. Maybe I can help with that. The important word being maybe. Fine. But this is against my better judgment. Just don't slow me down. Okay, before we go farther, I'll need what we agreed on. Come on, we've got some walking to do. I tried to cross. I guess my night vision is non-existent. I have some money. Can I walk with you? I'll need more than that, kid. I really owe you. Come on, both of you. Hold up. That light ahead should be the guard I know. Stay here.
It is him. But since there are two of you, he'll want more. I know it. Give me the money, or I walk. Good luck with the guard. I'm out of here. Please tell me you're good at convincing armed adults. You're seriously trying to bargain right now? You got guts, kid. No way. Hey, hope you have your running shoes on. I'll show you. Two kids just got past me. They're trying to escape. Run! Get back here! <laughs> Get back here! Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. And their journeys have only just begun. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to the Sonia Show. In today's top story, a police officer used a public bus to transfer a prisoner. Little did she know, the bus was full of hardened brigades, putting her life, as well as the prisoners, in danger. Thankfully, the officer managed to escape. Though shaken, she is recovering and will soon be back out on the road. The brigades. Now they're starting to take over our public transportation? That's why we need 10 more years of Tyrak, to make sure this doesn't happen. In very good news, a large network of smugglers helping teens cross has recently been dismantled by security forces. Thank you for keeping our country secure, border forces. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. What a relief! As you know, the Sonya Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonya Hotline. And that has been the Sonia Show.
So I took off with no plan Thinking I could find a friend Saying hi, shaking hands I hope this moment never ends It feels so Given all the hostility, it's normal the police would get violent. Wait, you're saying the police are justified in using violence? Uh, I'm glad you're here. Now I'm not the only one subjected to this. People are looting, Jeff. What good will come of that? Looting is reasonable when the system is so broken. Do you think they always talk like this? Whoa, your childhood must have been boring. Well, I guess I can't have this conversation with you, can I? So, you're one of us, aren't you? I knew you were a crosser, like me. I can smell it on you, literally. Let's talk about something else, then. Think they know what we're really up to? Yeah, they seem kind of with it for adults. So, I got an idea. Let's play this game I found and listen to some music. Here, take my Walkman. Wait, have you played before? I like to know my opponent's strength before crushing them. Then this is gonna hurt, sorry. win. Want a rematch? So, do you like the music? Don't worry about hurting my feelings. I'm a big girl. I've got all kinds of tapes. Here, so you remember me. To start a new life. No, to have a life. My dad thinks I'm lucky to have a big house and go to a prep school, but I'm not, believe me. Yeah, you could say that. Look, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? Maybe I shouldn't, but I feel like I can trust you. My father is the minister of oil. Well, you should. I can't have a normal life. I can't really have a life, period. Thanks. Uh, I feel better now that I've told someone. Uh, can you go back to thinking of me like you did before? Not cool, man. Hey, kids. Uh-oh. Good luck. Can I ask you something? I was wondering, would you say you're political? Uh, no, not really. What about you? Someone who has opinions on the events in the country. So since you are... Jeff! Almost done. What are you gonna do to change this place? work. I'm not sure. The system might be broken. 
What's certain is that it's the youth who are going to make change happen, if it happens at all. Finally, we agree on something. Happy to hear you say that. Oh no, road control. You go over the speed limit? No, I mean, I don't think so. Everyone stay calm. Kids, let us do the talking. Road control, ma'am. License and registration. <laughs> Happy to help however we can, sir. <laughs> sir, he's nothing but a road control zombie. Those your kids? No, sir. Just giving them a ride. I see. You all right, son? You seem a little nervous. Say, you look like one of the kids on the missing posters. I bet. Well, just to be sure, I'll need to see your papers. What if we were to make a donation to road control, sir? A donation? Well, for a donation, I suppose I could look the other way. Thank you, officer. Wait, wait, you're not really gonna pay this guy, are you? It's people like you that are ruining this country! Excuse me? Be quiet. Oh, come on! This turd in a uniform isn't gonna do anything! That's it! You're coming with me! What have you done, Zoe? Ah, don't touch me, What pig. do we do? I don't know. I don't know! Ah, ah, uh. Stay in the car, boy! Do what he says.
Well, maybe we don't have to wear the outfits all the time. Crazy talk, Mitch. Now, shh, it's almost time for the Sonia show. I wonder what she's gonna wear. You hear that? Ugh, that's not the creep after Sonia, is it? Nope, King ain't nothing but a hitchhiker. Tie him up. Told you he wasn't dead. You were right. Guess I owe you five big ones. I don't have it on me right now. But I will as soon as we rob the kid. This is Stan and I's hideout. Pretty nice, don't you think? Shut up, Mitch! Give us all your money, kid, now! Yeah, yeah, all your money. In case you didn't notice, we're the ones giving the orders. Maybe I'll have to show him the beast. Whoa, you hear that? The beast. Now search him, Mitch. Well, looky here. How much we talking about? Not enough to quit the game, Stan. No amount could ever make us quit the game, Mitch. Uh, it'd be nice to rob someone actually rich once. Sure would, Stan. Mitch, this kid is starting to hurt my ears, showing the beast. With pleasure. <laughs> now come on, we got work to do on our investigation. Sweet Sonia's life hangs in a balance. I <sighs> feel like I'm going crazy, Mitch. Yeah, me too. And if we don't crack this soon, it'll be too late. Quiet, little buddy. Do I have to show you the beast again? Yeah, shut your trap. Let the grown-ups think in peace. Kid, someone wants to end Sonia's life. The famous reporter? Yeah, we doubt that you could help us. <laughs> Ah, hell, Mitch. Maybe I'm crazy, but maybe he can help. Yeah. I mean, what do we have to lose here? Pick him up. We'll make you a deal, kid. Help us, and you'll get your money back. So we're trying to find out when the killer's gonna attack. We got some of his letters and things right here. When he's gonna attack is somewhere in them. We just know it is. If anything happens to sweet Sonia, I might just go crazy! Today marks the anniversary of Lola's death. In exactly two years, I will take my revenge. Do we know when that was recorded, Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. So, uh, we know the girl's birthday. That guy's seriously disturbed, Stan. He had this letter in his journal. I guess his daughter was fond of reptilians. He says he's going to act on his kid's birthday. Come on, people. Let's bring this criminal to justice. Don't support the violence. 
I think that's it, kid. Yeah, that don't look right. Try again. Today marks the anniversary of Lola's death. In exactly two years, I will take my revenge. Do we know when that was recorded, Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. showed you the beast earlier. I don't know what I was thinking. We still need to figure out what this guy looks like. And where the attack is gonna happen. But, uh, you know, now we're making progress. Yeah, we are. Here's your cash, kid. It's best to honor one's promises. Stan and Mitch rules. The ladder near the TV. Just climb it. Now get. But, uh, before you go, maybe you want to ask us something? Steal as much as you can. Yeah, we do that a lot. Nah, I'm pretty sure we'd still steal. Yeah.
series of a rock tasty as cream. You're not the talkative type, are you, young blood? What'd you say? Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. Feel free to start a conversation, okay? Whoa there, young blood. No one touches Big John's radio but Big John. Hey, I'd get your hand out of there if I were you. Don't got the dough, don't got the choice. It's safe, most of the time. Just don't do it often. Sure can feel that way. Appreciate it. Bear, got your ears on? Over. Ooh, that's Mama Bear, young wolf. We got a CB type thing going on. I've never actually met her, but I think I'm in love. We got CB nicknames for one another. I'm her papa, she's my mama. I want to ask her out, but I've been out of the game too long. Can you help? Thanks, kid. All right, I'm going in. Hi, beautiful. How's my CB crush doing today? Beautiful? <laughs> well, if you say so. I'm all right. Oh, but my boss is writing me about this illegal transmitter. Yes, she is, young blood. Never thought I'd love a cop before. Honestly, I'm starting to think a ghost is moving in. Speaking of transporting, what are you hauling today, Papa? Something just as intriguing. Pineapples. <laughs> young blood, it's going well. I'm gonna ask her out. Any advice? Mama Bear? Aren't you getting tired of talking like this? Oh, you... You don't want to talk anymore, Papa? No, no. What I mean is, we, we should meet in person. Look, we got a nice CB thing going on. But I got to meet you, Mama. Oh, uh, I don't know, Papa Bear. What we have is nice, but maybe it is time we met. You're not messing with me, are you? No. Name the time and place. I'll be there. Woohoo! Yeah! Ah, road pilots, young blood. Get in the back. You know how to handle a nail gun? These low life sticks are gonna get my pineapples. Ha! Can't legally carry a gun, so you'll have to shoot them with nails. Oh! 
Oh, that? That's, uh, nothing. Shoot the lock to open the doors! Take them down, young blood! Might sting, but you'll let... Papa Bear, you think of a time and place? Young blood! Think Mama Bear likes seafood? Papa Bear? I'm here, darling. You like gumbo? Damn! They're back! Show them no mercy! What road are you on, Papa Bear? We got a call. There's a shootout on Route 220. Oh, really? Get him off, Buck Easter, young blood! forward to our date. Me too, Mama. Don't I know it. Young blood, I'm gonna have to drop you soon, but it's been a blast. I appreciate that, young blood. I hope you reach your destination. Get your tapes and snacks here. Tapes and snacks. I am. Um, well, that's why I'm selling this stuff. Well, it's expensive to be a runaway teen.
I do not. You, you should steal the creep manager's car keys. He keeps them in a room behind the diner. What can I do for you, kid? Yeah, CNRC, run. Got it? What? Get out of here. Me too. But only one of us can win, dog. The other must be sacrificed to the gods of Palm. First to three wins. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Due to fools. Son. Okay, okay. Homie sees how it is. personally. Sometimes I feel like the Pong Gods chose me personally. I make games, by the way. Me and a chill kid who gave me a ride made Furious Tanks. Maybe you've heard of it? I've even sold some to this diner. But they screw me out of my rightful cut. Yeah, they'll get theirs. Don't worry. Depends on your fiscals. But word is, there's a psycho cabby dude out there. Oh man, that'd be kinda nice. I just had an idea. Time to take what's mine. Come on.
job's simple. There's a room in the back where they keep their cash. I should be able to hack in. Exactly, Home Slice. Come on! Yo! This digicode is from the age of the dinosaurs. I made some sexy digicode tech. One day, scientists gonna study my brain. Boom! What'd I tell you? Oh man, door closed behind us. Gonna re-trigger the digi-lock. Homie, by now you should know who you're dealing with. Now, let's look for the dough. A lot of stuff in here. And it smells. Ugh, adults. Check the drawers. And the safe, too. <laughs> Duh. Hold up. There's an article here on the attack. Bodies of certain brigades believed to be at the wall were never found. No way. My bio parents might still be alive. Here, I, I gotta finish reading this article. someone coming hide shh be hella quiet al have you been in the back room lately looks different like someone's been back here yeah, I'll check. Just give me a second. Bad news. It's empty. Okay, I'll sit tight. Uh-huh. Okay, bye. Oh, no, 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 no! Hey, who's in there? Run! Hold on, just whatever you took, give it back. It's your lucky day, kid. Get out of here before I change my mind.
All of our taxis are currently busy. Please call again another day. This is the Sonya Hotline. Do you have any information on a missing team? No, but you'd be helping your country. Welcome to my luxurious limo. You're wondering why I've given you a ride. I gave you a ride because I know your secret. That you're my biggest fan. I don't deny it, honey buns. Well, it's written all over you. Now relax. You must be exhausted from being on the road. There's a normal sized remote to your left. See it? Everything you ever wanted can be accessed by pressing one of its normal sized buttons. Go on. Not that one. What can I do for you, Sonia? Gah. It's all right. Nothing, Adam. Just do your job, would you? This is my job, Sonia. Sure you don't need anything? Yes, I'm sure, Adam. Bye! Now, I'm just gonna grab the normal-sized remote on this side and... Oh, look at that! That's what rich people call a sunroof. Now go on, climb up there. those fan lighters beside you? Don't like to touch them much myself. What's it say? Oh, I see. Put on the pile labeled death threats. Oh gosh, almost every day. That's why I got Adam, my bodyguard and driver. As irritating as he is. Do you want me to turn the audio off, Sonya? Uh, yeah! I know. It's probably one of those loser black brigades. Or liberal Flores supporters. But whoever it is, they won't do nothing. Believe me, I am. Sonya? What is it, Adam? Kinda having a moment here with my biggest fan. It's time. For the Sonya show, of course. I never miss it. Now park those buns over here. We say it's live, but <laughs> that'd be way too hard. With the election only a few months away, early polls show Tyrak well ahead of Flores. And now for today's missing teen report. Unfortunately, we have additional teens. And blah, 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 blah. 
You can ask me anything you want. You know that, right? I'm here for you. Just that Tyrak puts them there to catch teens on the run. Oh, honey, please. Florace isn't gonna do a thing because she ain't gonna win. Wait, you feel that? We're slowing down. Ring Adam for me, would you? Yes, Sonya? It was not me who rang Adam. So stupid. It was my biggest fan. Yes, Sonya's biggest fan? We're pulling into a security checkpoint. Looks like there's another protest. And to think this was once a nice totalitarian nation. More and more. It's this upcoming election. It's given people... Oh, what's that word? Hope. You suck! Sonya! CNN is pirate news! I gathered as much. Thank you, honey buns. Here come the police. This party is about to blow up. Sonia, please get back in the limo. Ah, you love your Sonia, don't you, honey pie? Uh oh, they have rocks again. You're starting to sound like a black brigade, sweetie. Joking, sweetie, but I'm not when I say I want you out of my limo. I thought you were my biggest fan Adam drop this loser off Yes, Sonya. So long kid
Snacks and drinks? Can I help you at all? I wanted to cross, but I don't have enough money for a coyote. Maybe I'll just go home soon anyway. Maybe you're right. Thanks for the pep talk. Kid, you've got to show more discretion. There are guards here who'd like nothing more than to arrest us. Can we trust you? Okay. You could try to convince a guard to let you enlist. You seem smart. Just follow the line of trucks to the gate. I hope you find your freedom, kid. We'll be rooting for you. Special 10-year commemoration of the collapse. There's some never-before-seen footage there. Between you and me, I married one. Surprising thing is, I still like him. for the offshore worker exam? Are you registered? Hmm, everything looks in order. We can head inside. you have lied and you will be detained it's too late to leave try and you will also be detained the test will be difficult only the most honest citizens will pass your number will be displayed behind me when it appears it's your turn your test results will also be displayed there so pay attention there are certain requirements you need to know only married persons with at least one child can rightfully apply your contract, if you pass, will last for five years. No more, no less. Lastly, the majority of your pay will be sent back to your homeland. Your number will soon be displayed. Bless our beautiful nation. Begin. Question one. What is your candidate number? Question two. How old is your eldest child? Question three. If you pass, how long will your stay abroad be? Question four. What age would your eldest child be when you return from abroad? Hmm? Question five. Are you, or have you ever been, a Black Brigade? Question six. Have you ever listened to illegal radio stations? Be honest. Oh. Question seven. 
When did the Black Brigade terrorist attack occur? Question 8. Who is Sonia Sanchez? Question 9. Who is our great president? Question 10. What is your primary skill as a worker? Question 11. Which of the following do you enjoy the most? Last question. Have you answered all questions truthfully? I already know, but I want to hear it from you. You bring great shame to your country. But I will entertain your offers. Now wait for your test results in the waiting room. Hopefully you'll not be arrested. Good day. You look young to take this test. Oh, don't worry, I won't say anything. God, I hope he passes us. You have passed! Stand up and leave! And may you well represent our blessed nation! Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. And their journeys have only just begun. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. As many of you know, the Brigades have a secret mobile radio station which they use to spread their fake news. Well, for years, the person transporting the station has evaded capture. But viewers, I've learned the authorities are closing in and now believe the station is being moved by a truck driver. We remind you there's a $2,000 reward for any valuable information. Come on, people. Let's bring this criminal to justice. The gate to the border was open today. Goes to show you how great our nation is, because we had, as always, few requests to work offshore. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. Nation, vote for Tyrak. Nothing less than our democracy is at stake. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. And that has been the Sonia Show. Dumb. 
<laughs> you should have seen his face. Anywho, sure you don't want a stiff drink, honey buns? Here you are in a limo with Petria's number one celebrity. And you don't want a party? Weird. But I get it. I do. You don't like me. You're one of those holier-than-thou black brigades. For your information, Aunt Sonia doesn't like herself very much either. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Something no one else knows. Something bad happened once. Really bad. Ten years ago, a young girl died during one of my broadcasts. There was an explosion, and she was under the mountain peak. I... I tried to... to save her as the rocks came down. I did! But by the time I got there... Well... It was too late. Lola was her name. But, well, enough of all that. Th that's enough crying for one day. Let's take this party to the next level. You're right. This music does suck. Worst DJ! Thank you, Sonia. Pickle, you're up! Use that normal size remote there and find me a new song! Whoa! Oh my god! This is the craziest music I've ever heard! Are you hearing what I'm hearing, Honey Bunch? It's like expanding my mind, Snuggle Kins. I know you can feel it too, Gummy Bear. Just let it take you away.
Don't worry. Aunt Sonia just had to get the poison out. <sighs> All better now. By the way, maybe you have some questions about being on the road? You can ask me. I'm like an open book. How do you think they make me feel? They want to topple a system that's good to me. I don't like them at all. That independent doesn't have a chance in hell of winning. Wait, what was I talking about before all this? Me? No, I didn't. What girl? I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to get out of my limo now. Fine. But not a word before I drop you off. Shh. Quiet. Hey, over here. Help me. Don't let them see you. The cops. They transferred me out of you know where. My dad must have found out where I was. Get get the van keys from the cops. But you'll need to to distract them somehow. Then come back here. Thank you. Know how many times I've called for a tow this year? I don't. Guess how many times? Fine. Three times. Nope. Four times. Can you believe it? What for? Go away before I get angry! What do you want, kid? Their van broke down, I think. A kid like you shouldn't stick around here. Know that? I most definitely am not. These protesters. Wish there was some way we could just ship them out.
careful. Don't don't swallow any. Get out of here, kid! What's going on? I see someone over there. Let's check it out. That kid did this. He can't be far. I'll check behind the station. He, you got the keys. Keys for the handcuffs. They should be. Come, come on! Get ready to run! Stop! Hands where I can see him! I, I didn't mean for this to happen. You gotta believe me.
This country is so messed up. I'll go back to my father. I'll... I'll get my dad to save you. I'll say, um, I... Uh, I don't know what I'll say. Look, uh, maybe... Maybe you should rest. You'll feel better. Just... Just try to get some sleep. And when you wake up, I'll know what to do. Okay? <gasps> you hear that? See you in help! They're gone, but they'll be back, and with friends. Lucky we intercepted their comms. Check the van. The girl must be inside. Please, don't hurt us. Got a second kid in here! The less you know, the better. You can, but Zoe, you should come with us. Wait, how do you know my name? Wait, d did my father send you? <laughs> Definitely not. We'll explain later, but right now, you and the kid have to split up. You... You... You risk your life for me. Yeah, maybe. Zoe, we have to go! I, uh... I hope I get to see you again. Tire. Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? You changing the subject on me? Well, if you got any advice, I guess it wouldn't hurt to hear it. Oh, yeah? Then have at it, kid. A tire whisper? Hey, don't stop there. The pump's behind you. You know... You remind me of my son. He's always fixing things. Always breaking things, too. Here.
Thanks a lot, kid. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Ah, just my luck. Come on, follow me. Yes? They don't bother me unless it gets violent. Well, make sure you get registered. You could say that, yeah. You could definitely say that. With you? That's all right. No offense. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's just that my son, my adopted son, ran away. I, I knew something that he didn't, a secret. And when I told him, he got upset. I told him who his biological parents were, or as much as I know about them anyway. I always told him I didn't know. I was lying. It was hard on him too because of who they were. They were members of the Black Brigades. Yeah, me too. You know about the attack in 86, right? That's the day I met my son. Yeah, I was working security, hired to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. Everything was going fine until it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was awful. You have no idea. The screams. Everything was just so terrible. At some point, I, I looked down and there was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. I do. What other explanation is there? I, I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. Thanks, Peach Fuzz. I appreciate you saying that. I do. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Look, kid. I don't know what you're up to out here. Just promise me something. Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you.
quit, will it, young blood? I haven't been sleeping well lately. Yeah, a lot of long nights on the road. But that's the life I signed up for. Be lying if I said no. But let's talk about something else. You start, okay? Well, it started for a good reason. But now, I'm afraid things are getting too radical. What do you think? We didn't do everything the government said we did, believe me. Found my tapes, huh? Each one comes with a ton of memories. Take one if you want. Them babies need to travel. Damn, this old lion's tired. No, oh, I'll be okay. My acupuncturist says I got large chi reserves below my spine. Well, I'll just tap into those and... Good to go. That's a no, all right. But you should rest. Need your energy on the road. Go on, young lion. Ain't got all my fingers, but you're in good hands. Kind of a big deal. We, we almost died, you know. But uh, you gotta get this cargo somewhere fast. Uh, adult diapers. Yeah, don't make fun of me. Ah, you need to be covered in hair head to toe to drive Mr. Grizzly. Only one solution. You gotta make me an omen vitality. Get in the back. I'll explain. Sorry about the mess. I'm not the cleanest ombre. That's Connie, young blood. Beautiful, isn't she? Mind putting that back? That's a real valuable object. Pains me to say this, but Connie's no longer with us. She passed away ten years ago, when the peak collapsed. Mm, that's how I lost these fingers, trying to get to her under the fallen rocks. But the truth is, I'd have given my whole arm, my whole life, to save her. She was the wind in my sails. And I'll miss her for the rest of my days. Now I really need that drink. I'm gonna look for some hard rock. Time to dispel the darkness. Cucumber should be up top.
Check for the beans at the bottom. Move the ingredients around so you can grab them. The ginseng should be somewhere back there. Hell yeah! Good too! Woo! Those drums! Damn! Hey, my drink almost ready! Vitality! Go on, sip you online, and put hair on your mane. I knew you'd like it. Keep the recipe. It'll come in handy. Now, time to put the pedal to the metal. Welcome to ride with me further if you want. Your choice. Okay then, here we go! Woo! You sure this place is closed, Stan? All the lights are on. Yeah, it just leaves those on to scare criminals. Well, didn't work. Nope. Stan. You there. Want to be part of something big? A break in. Probably the best ever. Best ever? You say that before all our crimes. And every time, it's true. Let's talk in the back. Come on, time to get started. Okay, so Mitch is casing out the place. We need to be real quiet. Really? Now shut your trap. Here comes Mitch. Okay, okay. From what I can tell, the place is empty. Because this place might have some important information. There's a psycho after Sonia, and we need to protect her. Yeah, sweet Sonia's in danger. You could say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kid, you go in through the vents here. You use my lucky lockpick to get in. It's lucky because... I've never had to actually use it. Okay, let's do this. But, uh, maybe you'd like to ask us something first? Unfortunately, due to our priors, this is an impossibility. Yeah, if you got a criminal record, you can't vote, kid. But what about you? That's nice. Now come here, little buddy. Go to the end and use the lockpick. Now park in front of the cameras and get ready!
Finally! I thought we'd never get it. Stan, we talked about this. You need to work on your patience. Kid, can you see us on the camera? Look around. See a layout of the office? Like we didn't already know that. Let's do this already. Oh, oh no. Something's beeping. It's an alarm! Kid, stop the alarm! Make it stop! Cut the alarm, kid! W what do we do, Stan? I don't know, but I can't go back to prison! Kill the alarm! <sighs> Thanks, little buddy. Why are you thanking him? He forgot to cut it! Stan, he's not an expert criminal like us. Mitch, help me with the door! Pick it up and act cool. Hello, this is security. We're responding to an alert. Everything all right? Mitch, can't you pick that lock any faster? What triggered the alarm? I see. That unfortunately happens a lot. Anyway, thank you for your explanation. Just a second, sir. I'll also need Happy Taxi's security password. It's just protocol. What's happening, kid? I'm sorry. Did you say something? What do you expect us to do? We're robbers, not wizards! No, I cannot. Yeah, whatever, kid. I'm waiting, sir. What is the password? Hold on. There's a post-it here. It says A45D2RCPP12. Maybe that's it. Thank you for your time, and take care. I got it, Stan. Finally! What took you so long? You know I don't like to rush things. This is a break-in, Mitch! Look, the manager's office! Oh man, the door is a code. Any idea? Uh, try one, two, three, four. No. Four, three, two, one? Nope. Well, I'm fresh out of ideas. Kid, you're in the security room. Code must be in there somewhere. Find it. Hold on. Try 9999. Wrong. Still not it. Not working. Nope. Still not it. <laughs> it worked! I'm in! What the heck? Kid, are you seeing this? Hold on, there's tape on the camera. There! We knew someone was obsessed with Sonya, but this is Cray Cray. It's him, Mitch. The Seiko cabbie after her. You two, stop! Close the door! Who was that guy? Looks like the security service sent an agent. Open this door immediately! Listen, you don't want any trouble. Give me the manager's office code. Don't give him the code, kid. We're close to finding where this creep is gonna attack. Wanna play it like that, do you? I got it, Stan. He's gonna attack at the border. At the top of the hill.
You've asked for it. You're screwed, kid. Let's get out of here. Sorry, little buddy. Homie. You're wondering what I'm doing. Just hacking into Super Supper to give everyone in Petria a free burger. Those capitalist pigs need to spread a little wealth around. What about you? I figured you were trying to leave this despotic dump. Good luck with that, my man. Well, guess I'll get back to hacking this burger megacorp. You should take a snooze on that gnarly pillow behind you. Gonna need energy for the road. They fight for what they believe in. I can respect that. People say they cause the peak to collapse, but I think that's BS. You? Sometimes you gotta be radical, especially when you're living in a dictatorship. Alex, you there? I'm here. There's a receiver inside. Not bad, right? Built it myself. This is safe, Alex. Totally safe, Mr. Ursus. Like always. He's a friend. I'm helping him in his... club. In exchange for info. Info on my bio parents. They were in his... club, too. I'm about to switch on the... You know what, Alex. And I need to know if there are any... Uh, you know what, in the area. I'm gonna level with you. Maybe it's stupid to do so, but I feel like I can. Mr. Ursus has an illegal radio, and he wants me to check on the cops to see where they are. I heard that, Alex. Guess the cat's out of the bag. Sorry, Mr. Yu. Can't help you today. Too busy trying to make it rain beef. No worries, because homie here on the bus can. Don't worry, my man. It's simple. Even an adult could do it. Go ahead, turn the scanner on. Whoops, total cerebral flatulence. Forgot the bats, here. Just gotta put them in the right way, no sweat. Now, we gotta check the amplifiers. Open that mofo and flip the switches.
to listen for, so we'll activate just about all of the amplifiers. We need exactly eight volts to pick up the police radio. That's what I'm talking about. We ready to scan. Turn the dials till you hear something. Signal meters need to be very bright. By the way, Mr. Yu, when are you gonna tell me more about my parents? That's part of the deal. About that. Yo, you're picking something up. Unit 8, you copy? Alva. Unit 8 here, camped outside the gas station. Not a for now. Over. Keep looking. You got donuts? Alva. Coast is clear, Mr. Yu. They're still at the old spot. Broadcast away. Yeah. Mr. Yu finds spots where he can do his little radio show. You should hear his radio voice. <laughs> Cracks me up, man. Thanks, eh? And, uh, homie? Beside, eh? And Alex, make sure you reach out to your mom, okay? I'm sure she misses you. <sighs> sure. Whatever. Thanks, Home Slice. Here, for your help. Now, time to give the citizens of Petria free beef! And boom! Oh no! Trojan horse is down! Well, at least 347 people got free burgers. I can live with that. Next up coming up. See you around, homie. Stay fresh. And good luck out there. and registration. Sure. Just a second. And why are you heading to the border? I have a friend who lives nearby. Th that's it. Nothing uh, illegal. I see.
What are you doing here alone? Don't be one of those kids sneaking into a truck. Believe me, he'll never make it. Now be careful out there, you hear? Snacks and drinks? Can I help you at all? Of course, I've sent him out on the road. Sent a few here too. But the real protest here will go down on election day. Don't know who Stan it'd be if it wasn't. Kid, you gotta show more discretion. There are guards here who'd like nothing more than to arrest us. Can we trust you? Okay. Some kids try to hide in the trucks and get through that way. Of course, there's no guarantee you'll get past security. They got all kinds of security measures. I hope you find your freedom, kid. We'll be rooting for you.
Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. And their journeys have only just begun. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. In a news exclusive, I've learned the brigades have recently attacked two officers transferring a prisoner. The brigades overwhelmed the officers during a refueling stop and released the prisoners. Here tonight is Officer Green, who fortunately survived this brutal attack. Officer Green, can you tell us what happened? Well, me and Officer Thompson were refueling on our way to a more secure facility when we were suddenly attacked by at least 10 brigades. Terrible. These brigades, they're just violent criminals. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah, if anyone knows anything about the people who did this or have seen these fugitives, call the Sonia hotline or your local authorities at once. Thank you, Officer Green. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. Nation, vote for Tyrak. Nothing less than our democracy is at stake. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia hotline. And that has been the Sonia Show. Listeners, a sneak peek of today's Sonia show. Nation, vote for Tyrak. Nothing less than our democracy is at stake. Tune in later to hear more. It's me, your beloved Sonia. Listen, I've had a little limo crash. Would you be a doll and give me a ride to a payphone? Uh, hello. It's Petria's sweetheart, Sonia Sanchez. You little fine. Here. The kid's gonna give me a ride. You think about what you done. No, he's just in a temporary state of shock. He'll snap out of it. Now, come on, ain't got all day. I 
and goddamn Sonia Sanchez. You actually drive this dump on wheels? I mean, it's nice. Real lived in. Thanks, hun. It's an honor to meet you, too. Uh, did you know there's a, 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 a burger back here? I'm gonna put it next to you. Try not to eat my fingers, okay? Ugh, you really just ate that? In front of me? Whatever. Ask me a question, hun. I know you're burning too. Well, you can't deny they killed hundreds in 86. more complicated than you think, sugar. So, honey bunny, how much do you love my show? Wait, wait, wait. You're not one of them, are you? A brigade thing, that. Incredible! Sonia Sanchez, ride in with a brigade. I should have you arrested on the spot. But I won't, because of the state of my limo. I can be nice, you know. Most people don't know that. Well, sparkling as your conversation may be, you're boring me, sugar pie. But I have an idea to liven this hearse up. Dance party! Oh, you'll dance when I tell you to dance. Got it? Now find some music on that junk radio of yours. Nope. Uh-uh. You kidding me? Jesus, kid! That's it! Turn it up! Now dance! I said dance! you to be honest. Is this even your car? I thought so. Relax, sugar. I haven't had this much fun in so long. Look at that! Reminds me of... Well... Of my past. I haven't been so kind to the ones I love lately. I 
guess they remind me of the girl I once was. A scared little girl with nothing. Look! A phone booth! Stop the goddamn car! And it looked like you were just about out of gas. I'm sure you will, too. Well, thanks for the ride. I don't know where you're heading, Sweet Pea, but good luck getting there. Wow, you look rough. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. What is it? Looks like you got something on your mind. Just a gas station, but the owner's shady. He was watching me earlier. Be careful. We gotta help each other out. No one else is gonna do it. Hey, you look familiar. You're one of those teens on the posters. Simple. I'd have to call the cops. Yeah, I'd better call them. I am. See that pump? Serve gas for me and we won't have any problems. Here we go. Don't blow this. Ten liters of unleaded. Make it fast. Perfect. Baby's right is really gonna purr now. Oh, any mistakes will be docked from your pay. Oh, it isn't? And now, a sneak peek of today's Sonia show. As the election approaches, all signs point to Tyrak's re-election. And that's great news for our country. Tune in later to hear more. The Sonia show. Now that's the real news. Give me $15 of diesel. Working here? I don't want your kind around here. My kind? What do you mean, my kind? I know what you're up to. Trying to leave the country. Border crossers. Tyrak is right to do to you what he does. Oh, look who's pulling <gasps> in. Yeah, you'd better run. Hey, little young to pump gas, aren't you? Just give me 12 bucks of V-Power. Did I see a kid run off? You did, yeah. How's that for a guilty conscience? Thanks, kid. Now, 
about that kid. You hear about the hitcher? Nope. Just for the gas. He ran off towards my shed. I know he plans to cross. He said as much. And who are you? Have I seen you someplace? You stay right there, okay? Come on, Reed. Let's have a look. Flip me. I know what you're thinking, kid. You want to help the kid, but that would be a mistake. You understand what I'm telling you? Come out, kid. We know you're in here. There you are. Where do you think you're going? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. You hear that? Kid's innocent. Uh-huh. Just like all the others. Get him in the van. I'll join you in a sec. Now what about this one? This one's legit. Works here. I don't know. Look how dirty she is. Looks like a crosser to me. Not gonna talk, huh? Well, you'll have plenty of time at the station. You're coming with me. I'll take it from here. Yo, what? I'll book her. Besides, Saves you room to pick up another kid. Fine, I guess. Shut up, kid. <laughs> okay, you can go. I am. You didn't break any law? Those guys were just on a power trip. Sorry I yelled at you like that. Had to make it look real. And I'm sorry about the other kid. He seemed nice. Oh, I thought maybe you were traveling together. Seems like you want to ask me something. Uh-huh, after what happened in 86, you're damn right I do. Come on. No reason's good enough to kill hundreds of people. I wouldn't be so sure, Peach Fuzz. Bye, kid. Take care, okay? She let you go? Fine, just take it easy, okay?
Thanks for stopping, young blood. Mr. Grizzly broke down. I need to find a phone to make a call. I got this map here. You, uh, you see a little truck? That's where we are now. Roll! So, young blood, where were you headed before picking me up? Guess you got a foreign war permit, huh? Don't worry, I'm on your side. Phone booth! Good job, young blood! Wait a minute. I'll be quick. Robert, can you hear me? Robert! Can you hear me? Robert! God damn it! Mm, we're losing time, young bud. I gotta get to a phone. Time to waste, young cub. We gotta find a phone. I don't like leaving my rig alone like that. Oh, just up the road a ways. Yep, but a lot of people are looking for my truck. Oh, the roads in this country! I love trailer parks. It's where I sleep best. I've updated the map. Hit the gas, kid. be a phone around here somewhere. You're calm. That's good. A phone booth? Good work. Wait a sec. I'll be quick. Hello? Robert? Yeah, we have a problem. The truck broke down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Yeah, the transmitter's all right. Right. Yeah. Fine. I'll be there. Yeah, thanks. Now let's get back to Mr. Grizz. Hopefully he's all right. Everything's here, young blood. What a relief. All in this thing sure makes my life dangerous. Even got chased by banditos. My friends will be here soon. You should go, okay? Here's the dough I promised. Thanks, young bud. And your secret is safe with me too. I wish you luck on this grand adventure of yours. <sighs>
I don't get it. I've tried everything. Guess I'm just a normal genius. Not a genius genius. Yo, depressing. Okay, let's start from the beginning. You got this. Ugh, I don't get it. I've tried everything. Dang! What are you, a ninja? It's cool. Actually nice to see another teen. I was starting to think I was the only one. It's a prototype. You can't actually detonate it. I've been designing it for this guy I know, Robert. Mm, just a guy I know. I think he wants it to protect this group he's in. They're called the Black Brigades. Totally, dog. Never seen anything like it in all my 14 years. How do they make you feel? Yeah, could go either way, I guess. Politics are hyper-complicated. Wait, I got an idea. You can be my rubber duck. A rubber duck is someone who listens to someone else describe a problem. If all goes well, the solution presents itself to the person talking. Cool, cool. So first I check the resistance with my voltmeter, and everything seems okay. Then I cleaned the captors, checking them too. A bit painstaking, but whatever. I removed every screw, nut, and bolt. And the motherboard. I put them back again, but it still didn't work. Next, I checked all wires. Green, red, yellow, whatever. And they all seem okay too. And that's it. I checked everything. Literally everything. D you're a genius! <laughs> to turn on the electricity, we need to find the generator. Could be anywhere at this station. Grab this nail gun. I got another idea. See the cable in the ceiling? Shoot the tiles to see where it goes. That's how we'll find the generator. Follow the cable, my sister from another mister. Cable go. That's it, homegirl. It's going outside. Let's check it out. The cable's running on the ground. Let's follow it. Lead the way. Tell me when you find where it goes. I'm coming. Hell yeah! The generator's in here, yo! We just gotta start it now. The key should be around here somewhere. <laughs> uh, you okay, homegirl? Oh wait, try with this magnet. Super crisp right now. Go slow, homegirl. Real slow. Yeah. Nice. 
You got it. All right, let's start the generator. are on, but the station sure is in bad shape. You know, that's why we need Tarak for another ten years, and not that Flores. To make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen elsewhere. Hey, wanna scare these Tyrak supporters a little? The cable goes under their car. I can make it active. And their car, too. Yeah, this pla- <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Quit fooling around, Jim. I just got electrocuted touching the car. This is one of your jokes, isn't it? No! See for yourself! Why would I try to electrocute myself? Fine. I don't feel nothing. Gotta touch the car! I wasn't lying. I really did get shocked. Come on. Let's get... <laughs> I told you! I didn't believe you! I know! Hey, look over there! Whoops! Time to run, homegirl! Happy Taxi, how can we help you today? We'll send a taxi to your location right away. Thank you for calling, Happy Taxi. Sorry, forgot you were back there. So where are we headed today with Happy Taxi? No. Sorry. What I mean is, of course, the customer is always king. Now sit back and enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi.
All that belonged to the last customer. He left that behind, too. Oh? I'm not a violent person myself. The sight of blood and I faint. Not a lot gets by you, I can tell. By the way, everything I'm telling you is the truth. We're called Happy Taxi, but we could be called Honest Taxi, too. Maybe you have some questions about the road. I can help you with those. Yeah, hope they don't get to certain brigades before I do. Oh, I don't know who that is. I have that for a home project. You shouldn't be this close to me. Now sit back and stay seated. Enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi. No. Sorry, I didn't. I'm going to turn the music up now. Do you like dinosaurs? Did you say something? See. Oh no. I think I have a flat tire. Better take a look. Sit tight, okay? He's gonna kill me!
On your travels, have you met a woman named Sonia? <laughs> what are the chances? A hundred to one? No, a thousand to one. And what did you think of her? What do you mean you're not sure? Look like we picked up another weirdo, Stan. Sure is, Mitch. Lots of weirdos would say the same. Sure would. But now, some troubling news. Sonia is in danger. Someone wants to end sweet Sonia's life. Our plan is to stop this would-be killer. Before they kill Sonia. Yeah, before. All 
our hunch is this psycho is a taxi driver. What we know is this creep plans to attack Sonia at the border. And that this creep plans to do so on election day. It's certain. Yeah, we do. And on a variety of subjects. Taxi driver? It would make sense. What doesn't stand is why the kid's in the sidecar. It being in the shape it is. You've gone and scared the kid, Mitch. Did, didn't I? Oh, shoot. Ask us a question if you'd like. I could take your mind off your fear. Seems that way, don't it? Frightening. Proud to say Mitch and I ain't never paid a tax. No, Stan and I don't pay taxes. Proudly. Nope. Probably not. Long as you lean into the turns. Just move left and right. Give it a whirl. Whoa, whoa, not that side, kid. Not bad. That's nothing. Get on up here, little lady. Don't be scared. Go on, then. What do you think, kid? Yeah, what do you think? Taxi driver, uh, Stan! Maybe Sonia would be killer! Kid, get back in the sidecar and help us catch that cab! He's getting away! be a trap. Show this driver the beast, Mitch! With pleasure. Here we go. This had to be good. So, kid, did you get a look at the driver? That's my recollection, too. Wait until Mitch gets his hands on this creep. What the... Why is he coming back? Oh, nice person. People like that don't deserve engine trouble. He's leaving! That wasn't the would-be killer, Stan. Way too nice. You let Sonia's would-be killer go, Mitch! I did not. Besides, 
I didn't see you get off the bike. You were scared. I was not scared. Kid's right. Uh, let's look on the bright side. We're getting closer. We are. We almost got that psycho this time. Stand and match! What do you want to do now, little lady? Of course not. Hey, get down! Backpack, dirty, smelly. I take it you're looking for the cave. Me too. Follow me. We need to get away from the road. I know where the cave is. At least, I think I do. My name's Zoe. I don't know about you. But I've had a pretty intense journey to get here. Too much to get into right now. All I'll say is, after everything, I'm a different person. And that's good. Believe me, I want to help people now, not just myself. Wow, look at this view.
everything that's wrong here, there's still so much beauty. Just a sec. I want to try something. Echo! Echo! I know, cheesy, but I've always wanted to do that. You must have had some pretty amazing adventures yourself. Tell me about it. Is it just because we have a tyrannical child as a president? Maybe there's something in the water from all the drilling. The cave should be just up there. Again, I think. Follow me! Radio was right. I can't believe this place really exists. It's so cool. You're a moderate. I can get down with that, at least on certain issues. Come on, let's check it out. Someone left their things behind. It's somebody's journal. A man and his son were traveling together. This cave isn't only used by teens. He, he was frightened they wouldn't make it. One day it will come down, but we have to believe that. Come on, let's go back and start a fire. It's cold in here. Grab some sticks and we'll need a light. Know how to start a fire? If we can start one, we should be warm and toasty in no time. Can I tell you something? You know how earlier I said I wanted to help people? Well, this is how I'm gonna do it.
classified government documents showing the brigades didn't cause the collapse in 86, like everyone says. Tyrak did it. Mount National was rigged with explosives to prevent avalanches, like every other year. When the brigades tried to take Tyrak out, he triggered the explosion. Uh, let's just say, my dad has a very important position in the government. I'm going to. I mean, I'm going to try. The brigades are going to help me reach the other side. When I get to the border, they'll send me a signal. And when I cross, if I cross, I'll share this with every foreign news outlet I can. It will be if I make it. I think, I think this could finally take him down. Oh, uh, if you want, sure. We should probably get some rest then. Getting past security isn't gonna be easy. You have no idea. Tomorrow is the beginning of the end of Tyrak. I hope. Are you kidding me, man? This Walkman is a piece of junk. You should be arrested for trying to hawk this. It's you! It's nice to see you. I thought we'd never see each other again. Listen, I hope you're not angry with me about the cave. I was just trying to help you, really. Thanks for understanding. There's been a delay, but I might cross tonight. That's why I was trying to buy a Walkman. To hear the signal. Maybe I shouldn't say this here. The brigades are gonna send me a signal, telling me when it's right to cross. They could be sending me the signal right now. I need a Walkman. Ah, I dropped it in the cave, of course. Come on, let's listen to it in my tent. Follow me. Beautiful view, huh? Except for that monstrosity in the middle. There's a plan, but I can't tell you here. Come on, let's go to my tent.
Whoa, hold up there, kid. She's with me, Sean. Sure, no problem. A friend of Zoe's is a friend of mine. Sean knows I'm with the brigades. He's cool. Look at those trucks lined up to cross. They're selling our resources to the rest of the world. But 99% of our people will never see any of that money. It all goes to Tyrak and his cronies, including my father. Uh, so, can I have my Walkman? Put it on 191.9. This is 191.9, the voice of the brigades. This is your papa baby here. Before we begin, a personal message for Z. This is it. The rooster will sing three times. I repeat, the rooster will sing three times. That was a signal. At three in the morning, a truck will crash into the wall. It's a diversion, something to draw security in. That's when we cross. I've been thinking. Having someone with me could actually help. Wait, you do want to come with me, right? I didn't even ask. I would totally understand if... Great. Okay, then. I know it's not cool, but we should get some sleep. You know, it's gonna be difficult, even with a diversion. I know I did. But this time, when you wake up, I'll be there. I promise. And then, we'll cross together. Good night.
Security's triggered. They'll know we're here as soon as I open this. We'll have ten seconds to reach the exit once we jump down. Yes, we can, but we have to believe. My hands are shaking. Yeah, yeah do it. Yes, you might lose your life along the way. But for each person that falls, another rises up. The trick is to keep moving forward. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. On today's show, we'll take a look at our nation's booming oil industry. With the help of our Minister of Oil, we recorded the following. Just a moment, I have some very important news to share. <gasps> You're kidding me! Ladies and gentlemen, let's go live to our reporter at the wall. Beatrice, can you hear me? Yes, Sonia. I'm here at the wall where an attack has just happened. With me is Darren, who witnessed the event. I'm on? Yeah. So I was sleeping in my tent when I heard a bang. Like a big explosion, you know. When I got out, I saw a huge fire at the wall. Do you know what caused the explosion? I, I think a truck smashed into it. That's right, Sonia. A brigade truck crashed into the wall, killing a teenager on the spot. Nah, you got it wrong. The truck didn't kill the teen. Border forces did. They're shooting kids all the time. Hey, don't grab my mic. Uh-oh. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties. Wish I could say I'm surprised the brigades are behind this, but I can't. Thank you for your report, Beatrice. Have no fear. The authorities will ensure nothing like this occurs on Election Day. Remember, I'll be there, live. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. As we approach Election Day, more and more protests are occurring in our fine country. Don't support the violence. Vote for Tyrak. As you know, The Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. And that has been the Sonia Show. Can you hear me? What's that noise? It's a bug messing with the connection. But don't worry, prepubescent Einstein here is gonna fix it. Help me a sec, homegirl. I got a bug I need to fix. Mr. Ursus isn't hearing me well. If I leave the booth, he'll hang up, I know it. Who are you 
you talking to? Don't sweat it, Mr. Yu. It's just a hitchhiker. Take this computer. I put a metal detector on it. Check the ground near the pole over there. Should be some hidden keys to open the box and reboot the line. Petra Calm hides their keys like a dog hides a bone. We're doing what we can, Mr. Yu. Nice fun! Let the beeping guide you! Thanks, Yo! You hear me now? I do, yeah. So, as I was gonna say, the fake emitters are all in place. Should keep those pigs busy for a while. Thanks, Alex. Ding, ding, ding. You win a chicken dinner, yo. I gotta run, Alex. Wait, wait, my parents. Sorry, kid, now's not the time. We'll talk soon, okay? Promise. Don't hang up. Yo, press the button again. Hello? Too late. He's gone. Fine. Just a little frustrated. I'm looking for info on my bio parents. And they died when I was young. In the attack in 86. But I haven't come up with much. Thanks. My mom, I mean my adoptive mom, said I might not find out anything. But I didn't believe her. If she's at home, or on the road doing her job. Come on, let's wait out the rain in the booth. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Precinct 22, Officer Fanny. Hello? Alex? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Is everything okay? What do I say? Everything's fine. I just wanted to check in. Are you getting enough to eat? You are, right? And you can come back whenever you want. You know that. Yeah, I'm getting enough to eat. Thanks. I... I hope you find what you're looking for. I miss you, Alex. I... I miss you, too. Look, I should go. Oh, already? I'll call again soon. I promise. I love you. Bye. Bye, baby. Come on. It's cramped in here. I feel better now. Thanks for encouraging me to call. Yo, I got eyes and ears and an IQ of 180, dog. What happened is awful. 
Really think the brigades did this? Yeah, the homegirl knows what's up, I think. At least on certain issues. I still have a few things to clean up around here. By the way, there's a cereal bar in my bag if you want. You look hungry. Oh, and I can call you a taxi, too. I hacked into Happy Taxi, because I can, and got some free ride vouchers. It's as good as done. And good luck on your journey, yo. Hope you reach 96. We headed. Oh well, just don't go any farther than that. It's illegal, you know. But uh, yeah, sure, I'll take you in that direction. No, oh, I like it. It's growing on you. Nice. Sonia wants to party. Sonia parties. Jesus, the third person? Look, all Adam's saying is you shouldn't go in. This weirdo could be here. This is a party for important people only, sweet pea. Which is why Adam can't go in. Oh, she burned you there. Now, I'm going in. Oh, and the kid is coming with me. What? She's my girlfriend. Come on, kid. Uh-uh, Brosif. Like Sonya said, you gotta be famous. Kid, keep an eye on her for me. There's a psycho after her. Maybe there is, but you can't live your life in fear. Ah, that's a motto of mine. You can learn a lot by talking to me. Shoot! Yeah, I know the brigades are behind it somehow. Please, she will do no such thing. Now go on and enjoy yourself, sugar. We'll meet up later.
You got levers under the table. I know you do. Hi, kid. Perhaps you don't like to play. Girlfriend, nice to see you. This round is free, young lady. Okay, focus on the ball. Ready? Here we go. And you win. See? It's simple. You shuffled faster for me. Another try, young lady? Oh, and you can place a bet, too. Excellent. If you win, you get double. A wise bet. And I'll take your eyes off the cup. Ready? Here we go. Excellent pick, young lady. Excellent pick, young lady. Another round? I'm gonna get in on this. Put a little bet down of my own. The lady has spoken. I shut the hell up. Shoot, left my wallet near the can. Get it for me, Lamb Chow. Sweat, sweet cheeks. Clown face here. Ready? Here we go. You, you win. Uh oh. Looks like Gumdrop has your number. Let me put down even more. Ready? Here we go. Shut your mouth. Just give me a second. I'll be right back. You better. Honey Bunny and I ain't done yet. Oh, Jesus, not again. Sweet cakes, I'm unbreakable. Don't worry. Honey, throw a rock and you'll hit one of my stalkers. You could be a stalker. Wait, are you a stalker? Now that's exactly what a stalker would say. You know what? Get me a drink from the tent. Get one for yourself, too. You need to chill. Oh, it is. What do you want, kid? Hey, you're with Sonia, right? Well, um, some weird guy in a hat was just talking about her. I'm not sure. There was a lot of, um, grunting. But he didn't like her. I know that much. It is. And thankfully, it looks like Tyrek is going to pull it off. Another ten years with Tyrek, at the very least. She was with you. I really hope something bad didn't happen to her.
Calm down, kid. She's in the limo. Take it easy there. Personally, I'm not into violence. Besides, we'll never get him or her now. Too many people here. But thanks for looking after her. I know she's... Sonia. But she's a good person underneath. In love with Sonia? Ha! Don't be ridiculous. That's our secret, okay? See you around, kid. Welcome aboard, kid. Yeah. And you? Hmm. Are you frightened? I know it's tough, but try not to think about it. What you should do now is rest, if you can. You'll feel better. Awake, eh? He got off while you were asleep. Yeah, fine by me. Mama Bear. Goddamn cop. Mama Bear. Hey, you're not my Mama Bear. You're just some hitchhiking teen. No. <laughs> I had a date with Mama Bear, but she's police. So I didn't show. I screwed up. And then I got real drunk. No, I, I can't, young cub. You're looking at Petri as most wanted criminal. I, I can never be with my bear. Damn! Not even Papa Bear can move this rock. Wait. Nope. Impossible. Come over here.
Hey, you see those rocks ahead? Oh, it looks like the border gate, don't it? Goddamn peak collapse. Took Connie away from me. Connie was the love of my life. First love, but I... I don't want to talk about that. I want to race. Come on! Race you up the hill! Oh, faster than the wind! <laughs> Jesus! My knees! You'll never catch me! <laughs> I'll run like the wind! Fast! And effortlessly! <laughs> oh, my knees! The pain is excruciating! Oh! Ooh! It's time for... Almost there! I bet you're real! Oh yeah! Papa Bear wins again! I should have been on the Olympic squad! A soccer ball. Uh-oh. You've entered the danger zone now. All right, young blood. You got five kicks. In high school, my nickname was The Wall. So you know. Oh, I don't think you're Olympic squad material. Four kicks left now. Whoa, baby! Three kicks left. Hey, they should call you Jello Foot. <laughs> you only got two kicks left. Better make them good. Oh, I don't think you're Olympic squad material. Just one kick left. I want to see your best, young blood. Lucky. That one went through where my fingers used to be. Nah. Uh, decent score. But if the wall was sober, you'd have a big, fat zero. A few bucks fell out of the stuff you hit. Here. Ooh, Jesus. Ah, oh, beat. Come on. Let's sit over here. I did. Makes me sick, them saying the brigades did it. And what about you? What do you think? <sighs> I wish I could 100% agree. But I've seen many politicians come and go. I do, young bud. Thanks. Sorry about all that before. Yeah, it's just this whole thing with Mama Bear has brought up the past. And Connie. Well, Connie was the love of my life. But she died ten years ago in the peak collapse. She was my everything, young blood. You should have seen her. Oh yeah, yeah. I got dozens in Mr. Grizzly. Over there. Mm, well, she was young and committed, like me. We were in the brigades together. And beautiful. So goddamn beautiful. Oh, I'll miss her for the rest of my days. Oh, she is. That voice, oof. And she's tough. Tougher than I'll ever be. But kind and funny, too. Cause Mama Bear is the popo, young blood. And I'm a black brigade carrying around an illegal radio transmitter. It's not exactly meant to be. That it is, young blood. 
that it is. Shoot. I, I do. I, I really think I do. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're pretty wise for a snot-nosed teen. You know that? Uh, maybe you should do one of those dating advice radio shows. Sounds good, young blood. Now, if it's all right with you, I think I'm just gonna sit here a while and enjoy the view. You be safe out there. And if love comes your way, you grab it. Understand me? Can I help you? Oh no, she's back. Just act cool, okay? Sorry to interrupt. Mind if I have a word with you, kid? I'll explain everything in my room. How was it looking, Fanny? Almost ready. I'm on the trail of the brigade transmitter. Heard about it? I believe the person moving it frequents this motel. In fact, I think he or she was here last Sunday. I do, yeah. The guests here don't talk to cops. Truth is, I think some of them are brigades. I don't know exactly. Maybe the clerk back there. Look, there's a little money in it for you if you help me. I know you could use it. Now, come on. Everything you need is on the wall. Take it. Here's how it's gonna work. We've almost identified the perp, but we need to be sure. Talk to the guests and scribble out the ones that don't match. Come back when you've narrowed them down. Got it? Got any more questions before we begin? Anything at all? It should have never happened. That's what I think. Guess I know who your favorite candidate is, don't I? Okay, let's get going.
Coming. Feeling a little down? I can help with that. I was, yeah, why? Let me think. Yeah, yeah, there was a guy. I didn't talk to him. Seemed like he wasn't the kind for chit chat. Hulk had a squarish face, real macho. Know what I mean? There. Does that help? Later. Yeah, just a sec. Took your sweet time. Hey, where's my salad? I was. Oh yeah, I tried avoiding him. He frightened me. He was the same age as me, and I don't consider myself old. You don't think I'm old, do you? The key is salad. Lots and lots of salad. Well, guess I'll keep waiting for my salad. And go for it! Hello? What can I do for you? I was, yes. Yes. I remember him well, in fact. He was handsome. A big man, with short hair. Large hands. Strong hands. You don't have his number, do you? I'll be here tomorrow to find that number. Hey! I know what you're doing! Are you sure you want to do this? You're a brigade? Then you've crossed out his portrait. Good. Get in here, quick! This is great work, kid. But we'll need to see if this matches the other leads. What do you mean, what will happen? Prison. This person plays an important role in a terrorist organization. We don't take that lightly. You there, ex-mom? Hold on. I gotta take this. Ex-mom, I just stole the game I made. That's wonderful, baby. You're still being careful out there, right? Don't start, please. Mm. Sorry. So, how is your search going? My search? Oh, really well. Yeah, uh, I'm finding out a lot about my bio parents. They were, uh, really impressive people. Far, kind. I think I'm a lot like them. Oh. Well, I'm glad to hear it. You are smart and kind. Look, uh, I gotta go. I'll call you soon, okay? Take care of yourself, honey. I will. Bye. Bye. What was all that racket? How people ever get any R&R &R in places like this is beyond me. Well, thanks for your help, but I gotta clean up here. Say, have I seen you someplace before? 
Hmm. Anyway, take this. It's not a lot, but you deserve it. For your help. Take care of yourself, okay? The roads can be mean. Mitch. With pleasure. You, drive! Don't look at us! Just do what we... Watch it! Just do what we say, and you won't get hurt. Shut up and step on the gas! Moto not starting outside the laundromat after we rob it, humiliating. Uh, you think I don't know that, Stan? It's your fault, you know. My fault? Oh, that's rich, Mitch. You know what, Mitch? Maybe you should find another Robin partner. Well, uh, maybe I should. Like this kid. Fine, take the kid. She's clearly a criminal anyway. Hold on, hold on. Before we end the best Robin duo ever, let's take a deep breath. Yeah, we shouldn't rush into this. This is big. I know. Let's put the radio on. It'll help us forget about the laundromat. Good idea. A laundromat robbery happened about an hour ago. Ah, jeez. Witnesses say the two robbers, both dressed like they were into S&M role-playing, argued the entire time. Though the suspect only made off with $72 in quarters, they are said to be armed and very dangerous. If you see them, please call the police immediately. We're laughing stocks. And Sonya reporting it, no less. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess that's it. Stan and Mitch are breaking up. Go on and partner up with the kid. Yeah, I guess that's it. Wow. Only one thing left to do. To be sure this is the right move, and I'll give the kid Mitch's ultimate bank robin quiz. Yeah. You need to start thinking about your future, kid. Here's how it works. Get enough questions, right? You and Mitch become Robin partners. But don't? Then Mitch and I have to... Uh, I don't want to spell it out. Question number one. Of the following, what is the best location to rob? The clock is, uh, ticking. Yeah, that's the right answer. Though jealous, I will admit, I am very impressed. Question number two. 
When is the best time to rob? Wrong. That's when the Sonya show is on. That's strike one. Question three. What is the best getaway vehicle? You would think, but no. Yeah, sometimes they break down in front of laundromats. Strike two. This is your last chance. <laughs> Question four, the final question. What is the best thing to do with your money at your hideout? Is this your final answer? Yes, that is the best thing to do. We need not explain why, for obvious reasons. Wow, the kid passed. Uh, no, I've never even passed it. And it's my quiz. So I guess you and the kid are gonna partner up now, eh? Stan, hold on. Yes, Mitch? Though, the kid and I's Robin compatibility is through the roof. No doubt. I cannot imagine Robin with anyone but you. Nor I, Mitch. Nor I. Remember when we snuck inside that cab company? Poor kid. I wish we could go back in time and do it all over. But he had my lucky lockpick on him. I'm sure he's fine. Come on, let's keep the car. Uh, and ditch the kid. Sounds good to me, Mitch. You hear something, Mitch? I did not, Stan.
In just a few days, the nation will honor the victims of 86 and elect its new president. When historians look back on this September 9th, many will consider it the most important day ever in the history of Petria. It's perfect. The entire country will be watching. I agree. The time to act is now. Intelligence says the brigades will try something, Mr. President. If they do, I'll crush them once and for all. Of course, I'll be here all day, reporting live at the scene. This has been Sonia Sanchez for GNN. And cut! You do her hair, is that it? I don't do her hair. Don't be offended. We think her hair is great. Look, Sonya's not seeing anyone right now, all right? Hi, kid. This guy won't let us see Sonya. He thinks we're fans. Aren't we, Stan? We're... we're more than that. We're her biggest fans. Nice one, Stan. Yeah, yeah you heard the kid. Move along, or I'll move you myself. That goes for you two also. Come on, Mitch. We made the hairstylist upset. We'll talk to Sonia later. Oh, are you crying, Sonia? A girl. Dad here. In 86. was her name. I, I... I tried. I tried to save her. But... But the rocks... They... They kept coming. It's just... Sometimes... I, I wish I had died. And she lived. Oh, Sonia. Mitch, behind the rocks. You see what I'm seeing? Uh-huh. Come on! Stop right there! You again? Wait, where is the other one? Mitch, the beast! <laughs> what the? Woohoo! We got him, Mitch! We got the would-be killer! Woohoo! Know these two S and M guys? No, them. They're the big brothers. Hi, Sonia. Oh, hi, Sonia. You two come here and give me a hug. No. Uh, right away, yeah. ma'am. On our way. It's so good to see you two. It's been too long. want to rain on your family reunion, but he's gone. Not a problem. We'll be here on election day, if he comes back. Yeah, we'll be here. Stan! Aw, oh, Mitch. Oh, I'm sorry I've been so distant. I hope you can forgive me. Don't worry about it, Sonia. Yeah, don't worry. We're, we're a family. Aw, oh, you guys are the best. Now give me another hug. That leaves just the brigades. Time to cut the head off the snake. Snakes and drinks? Can I help you at all? No, kid, but I think it's gonna be big. Just hope the good guys come out on top. But I know history isn't necessarily on our side. Kid, you've got to be smarter than that. Security is all over the place. They'll send you to you know where. And my wife and I, we'll end up in prison. Can we trust you? Okay. Some kids try to hide in the trucks and get through that way. Of course, there's no guarantee you'll get past security. 
They got all kinds of security measures. I hope you find your freedom, kid. We'll be rooting for you. Nothing to worry about. Picking up something inside. It stopped. Probably just a false alarm. A pole up to the next checkpoint. Yeah. Good day to you too. Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. And their journeys have only just begun. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. The election is coming up, and this past weekend, I had the opportunity to attend a rally for Tyrak, which was open to all his supporters. What an amazing and wholesome event it was, with non-alcoholic refreshments and entertainment for the whole family. 
Thank you, Mr. President, for such a wonderful event. Our nation is blessed to have you at the helm. And here's to hoping for at least 10 more years with you. Security at the border has been elevated after a teen was caught trying to cross hidden in the back of a commercial truck. The teen, as well as the truck driver, have been arrested. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. As we approach election day, more and more protests are occurring in our fine country. Don't support the violence. Vote for Tyrak. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. And that has been the Sonia Show. Oh, thank God you're here, kid. You saw that beautiful limo out there, right? That's Sonya's. You gotta deliver that champagne up to her. Do that, and I'll give you a room, and at a discount. I do it myself, but it doesn't seem, uh, classy. And I fired room service last week. They were doing inappropriate things to the food. Of course you will. Oh, now grab the bottle and get going. Uh, Sonya doesn't like to wait. Show, go! The elevator's at the end of the hallway. She's in room 307. Yes, Sonia. And don't blow this. Yes, Sonia. Jesus Christ, finally. Put it on the table and get the hell out. Wait, you ever take photos? Not that kind, perv. Just get behind the camera and I'll explain. Chop, chop. Okay, here's the scoop. I've sent Adam, my driver, to meet two members of the Black Brigades in the warehouse across the street. While he talks, I want you to take photos. Got it? Because no one's photographed their leader before. It's gonna be a huge story. Down here, you see me? What do I do if they start asking questions? You keep that trap shut! The kid and I'll tell you what to say through the earpiece. Now we wait. Kid, you got any questions? Any at all? Now's the time to ask. Those brigades are probably up to something. What about you, honey? 
Planning on being at the border for the big day? Oh, Jesus. Another political team? Can I pee, Sonia? It burns. For the hundredth time, no! Okay, I'm going in. Hey there, guys. Hey there, guys. Jesus Christ! Evening, Thelonious. I know. Sweetie Pie, take a photo. Let's talk inside. This better be good, Thelonious. We baited them. Thelonious there supposedly has important info. Adam! We can't see you! You gotta make them move! Guys, uh, can we go somewhere else? The Feng Shui is off here, right? You're a very strange man. I got a bad feeling about this, R. Relax. We're looking for info on where... Nice! With that kid Alex's help, maybe we can take him out. Sir Thelonious, what can you tell us about Tyrek? Okay, honey buns, think fast. Numbnuts needs our help. There's a new pump. Tyrak uh, will be there for the grand opening. Yeah, surrounded by dozens of secret service. That can't be the only thing you have to tell us. Why'd you say that? You know what? I'm out of here. I don't trust you guys. Whoa, whoa. Let's stay cool. Oh, Adam's a trooper. He'll be fine. You're not going anywhere. Tim, search him. He's got an earpiece, R. We need to go. No, we go on the roof. It's time for a more serious discussion. Shut up, kid! Just keep taking photos! Whoever's listening, I sure hope your friend knows how to fly! You idiot! Over there! Ah! Uh. At the window. We see you, kid! He's got a camera. I'm gonna count backwards from five. If I get to zero and don't have the camera, the Lonius goes over. Got it? Don't you dare give him the camera, honey buns. That's my story. Five. Four. No! Good choice, kid. Grab the camera, Tim. We're getting out of here. What did you do? He would have wanted you to keep the camera. And to think I was going to make you a junior producer? <laughs> oh, hi, Adam. Hope you're happy with yourself for ruining the story. Sorry, Sonya. Get out of here, sugar. For I tell the cops there's a missing teen in my room. long well anyway here's a few bucks for your help hope she talks about the blue water on her next show I love Sonya so much
Fine, I guess. Of course I did. Black brigades killed her. Like they did those poor souls in 86. And as a reminder, never stop to pick up hitchhikers, young or old. They could be dangerous. And that's today's Sonia Show. Thanks for tuning in.
my cigarettes are wet. <clears throat> Two guys were after me. They'd been following me up and down these roads. Up and down. I was starting to think they'd never quit, but that's over now. They wanted to put a stop to me. Anyway, my cab broke down. That's why I was out here, in the rain. But I'm not anymore. I'm in here, with you. Hey, something's wrong with your doors. pick up. You know that. Now drive. I've had a really bad day and could use some cheering up. So that's what you're gonna do. Cheer me up. I just want to have a little chat. So go on. Chat. I did. And how does that make you feel? Oh, is he still our president? You're already starting to bore me. Guess it's my turn to ask the questions. I'll tell you something else. I've been thinking about killing you. So better give me the right answers. Tell me, do you listen to the news often? Don't lie to me. I bet you were listening just before you picked me up. Tell me something else, and this is important. What do you think about the Black Brigades? That's how I feel. You're not just saying that, are you? Good. I don't want your sympathy. All I want is revenge. Who else? Have you been listening to a word I've said? Because of them, my sweet daughter is dead. They'll pay for that. They'll pay dearly. I think you know that already. They used her and just left her there to die under those rocks. Stop the car. I've decided what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to let you live. But you're going to give me your car. I can drop you off somewhere if you'd like. It is raining. I'm sure, but don't ask me again.
Uh-uh. Chucks isn't open right now. Renovation. Hey, who doesn't? You and that skinny guy. Go on, but make it quick. I win! Hand over those bills, Robert. Well, I'm out. Anyone else want a shot at this guy? Aha, uh -huh. not me. Papa Bear is made an air hockey pack for Satan. <laughs> Weaklings, all of you. But what about you, kid? We've got ourselves a contender. Master three points wins. Let's do this. See what you got, young wolf. You're not on the Olympic squad, are you? You're making my day, kid. I knew it. The kid's a winner. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit, but you beat me, young bud. Fair and square. Come on, drinks all round. I'm paying. <laughs> sure you're not on the Olympic squad? It is, isn't it? Yep, Chuck's is our official hangout. Don't go telling the pigs. It's cooler than it looks, young bud. Believe me. Or not. It's just that John's still living in the past. Chuck, serve this boy a martyr. Here we go. You sure about that, Robert? Our friend here is practically an adult, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I feel it in my bones, kid. Something good, real bad. I wouldn't count on it, young bud. I don't trust the electrical system. No, no, you are mistaken. My name is Robert, kid. Nice to meet you. You know, I do believe there's a reason you're here today. <clears throat> Maybe you should push on, young bud. It's getting late. Oh, young bud. You okay? You look a little fun. What did you put in that drink? The murder? Everything. Kid, wake up. Wake up. You're in Chuck's basement, kid. John and myself carried you down here. Come on, I want to show you something. Something big. Welcome to the Brigade's secret hideout. John and I were at the border in 86. The Brigades have been around for many years. A girl crossed recently. We think she's the catalyst the revolution needs.
the transmitter is one of our biggest achievements. The police are looking for it, but they'll never get their hands on it. We have something special planned for Election Day. Wait and see. Yeah, this. What's the kid doing here, Robert? The kid's political. Besides, aren't we on the lookout for fresh blood? I disagree. You're exactly who should be here. The future. Let me start with a big piece of news. Thanks to Zoe, we have intel showing that Tyrak was behind the collapse. Just like we've always suspected. You're just like us, kid. We tried to end his life that day, but he set off the explosives on the peak. Each year, they set it off to prevent avalanches. Must have set off too much in 86. I have some other big news. I have a plan to rig a Tyrak billboard. We'll attract cops to it by broadcasting a fake signal. When they arrive, boom, we trigger the device. This isn't a huge move. But it's a good start and will send a strong message. Do I have any volunteers? That's great, kid. But I think we'll go with hardened brigades here. I'll do it, Robert. This isn't who we are. They're sending teens to the work camp, John. Protests aren't cutting it. And Flores sure as hell won't cut it either. Robert's right. We need to attack. Now. Alex, our little genius, will help us rig the device. If all goes well, he can build us something bigger and badder for Election Day. The kid's out, Robert. He doesn't want to be involved in this. For Christ's sakes, his mom's a cop. We don't need Alex. We can find somebody else to do this. I'm telling you all, violence will do more harm than good. Funny, don't you think, kid? Funny because John and his girlfriend were the ones who drove the truck to kill Tyrak in 86. I've changed, Robert. Yes, you have. Look, we should vote and settle this right now. Who thinks the brigades need to be more aggressive? I don't. I do. I do. I refrain. I don't. I don't. I do. Free against free. Let's ask the kid. He's here, after all. That's why you brought him in. To vote on your side. Incredible. Kid, what do you think? You blew it, kid. I thought you had the makings of a real brigade. Guys, picked it up on the scanner. The police are on their way. We all know what we need to do. Get in our cars and leave calmly. Kid, no need to worry. They'll never suspect you. Hey kid, wanna play? We can put down some money if you want. Let's play! Here's your money. Another game? What can I do for you, kid? I did. But kids are dying all the time in the pits. Hundreds of them. And we never hear a word about that. Thank you. 
Nothing to see here, kid. Welcome to my dope ride. Ah, don't sweat it. Just one homie helping another. Gotta look out for one another on the streets, you feel me? Ah, oh, hell no! Nah. Gotta say something, dog. Don't be one of those weirdo silent riders. Don't know yet, but it seems like something big is gonna go down. Tyrek could spin whatever happens in his favor. Dang, I think that's ex-mom. Yeah, she adopted me when I was four, then treated me real well, but homie needed to make a change. Yeah, my life's real complicated. I am. She told me my bio parents were brigades. She knew that, but she never said nothing for 10 years. Like what, dog? It did, but she made it hurt worse. So that's why she's ex-mom. And that's why I ran away and I'm on the road. <laughs> Alex? Help. Please. Me too. But it could be some kind of trick. Ex-mom is cunning, yo. Check the scanner at your feet. Alex? Are you there? Can you hear me? Alex? Come in. Alex, you there? Alex. I need your help. Right there, dog. What you want, ex-mom? Oh, thank God. Baby, we got a call. The bank near our home's being robbed. I know things aren't great between us right now, but I need you to do your thing and access his cameras and tell me what you see. Yeah, she's 5-0. I got a complicated pedigree. I'll help you with my super dope tech. But that's the last time, woman. Thank you, baby. Big Dog is not a baby. I'm gifted, but I can't do everything. You gotta get in the back. Yeah, homie, I'm in the intel game. Big Brother is watching us, so I'm watching Big Brother. Tweak the antennas to make the image clear, and tell me what you see. Ex-mom, give us a sec. I'm driving and homie is in the back. You're what? Yo, chill. We see two burglars, ex-ma. Male. Got it. You see any hostages? Is X -mall. Good. Anything else? <laughs> I 
And homie says they're kind of dumb. Ah, oh, not these guys again. Okay, I'll relay all of this. Thank you, baby. Homie, I'm a bit tongue-tied with Ex Ma. Got any advice? Look, I'll call you soon, okay? Okay, baby. Sounds good. Alex. Yeah? You know I love you, right? Yeah. I know. Bye, ex-mom. Sorry you had to see that dog. Yeah. I could. When I know more about my bio-parents. Life... It's complicated. Especially when you're 14 and a genius. Anyway, thanks for helping me and Ex Ma back there. Hmm, <laughs> maybe that was a little weird. No problem, man. You would have done the same for me. Cool, cool, cool. in a holding cell near the border. They brought you in last night. They beat you, that's why. But you should start to feel better soon. A guy called the cops at me at a gas station. There was another teen there. Must have been arrested too, but taken in a different car. We don't. We wait until we're sent to the pits. Won't be long now. <sighs> Get your hands off me! Your friend's been chosen for a new treatment. We'll turn him into a good teenager yet.
Wake up! You're being transferred to the pits. Now get up! Demonstrations! It's election day, and scum like you want to make trouble! You need to go! Now time to get you in the truck! Go, go, go! Quiet back there! They fried him, man. I don't know if he can talk now. Do I... do I know you? Sonia here, live at the border on election day. Where events have quickly turned into a heated protest. Fires are spreading as rioters in high numbers have gathered at the wall. The tension is rising. Got a new hat, Jared? to do a transfer in this! Look at this, man. This is crazy. It's happening. The BBs will save us. I know it. What are they doing? They know we're in here, right? Stop that! Get your hands up! Stop! What was that? A prison van has just been flipped over. Go, go! Get him out! Everybody, to the wall! Where the hell is Robert? Big John, did you see Alex? You saw Alex? Where is he? At the wall. Kid, come with me. I gotta find someone. This way, young blood! There's an opening up here! Alex! What are you doing? John! It's not what you think! Robert got someone to make the bomb using my blueprints! I'm trying to disarm it, but it's not working! Robert must have changed the code! Dude is a straight-up a-hole! He probably used a code you wouldn't know. I have an idea! Young blood, try 6682! You sure? Alright! It worked! But how'd you know? That was the code of the first bomb. Your birthday. First bomb? My. my birthday? Your mom and dad, Alex. Naomi and Steven. They built it and used the most important day of their lives as the code. We were gonna use it, but there was a problem at the last moment. That's when Connie and I tried to take Tyrak out in the truck. We worked too hard to come up empty-handed, but we missed, and Tyrak detonated the explosives on the peak. And my parents were killed. Yes, and Connie. And so many others that day. Why didn't you tell me this sooner, John? I thought it'd radicalize you. Push you to build the bomb. And... I... didn't want you to hate me. Hate you? If I had killed Tyrak... your parents would still be alive. They made their choices, Mr. Yu. They put themselves in that position. That's not on you. Thanks for saying that, kid. Now come on! Let's... Uh, Don't move! Hands up and turn around! Slowly! Hands up, I said! Mom! Don't shoot! Alex? Your mom's a cop? Get out of here, Alex! That voice... Wait... Papa Bear? Oh, no! 
You know each other? Yeah. Turns out I've been chatting on the CB with the very person I was after. Well, it's not great for me either. The woman I love being a cop and everything. <laughs> love. Yeah. Love. Ha! Don't make me laugh. Listen, I'm sorry I stood you up. I chickened out. You think I care about that now? My mom and Mr. Ursus were gonna go on a date? My mind is gonna explode. Alex, I told you, get out of here. Listen to your mom. So, how do you know each other again? I did some work for the brigades, for info on my bio parents. John knew them. Yeah, right. It's the truth. My girlfriend and I were friends with Alex's parents. Your girlfriend? She died in 86. I've been trying to protect Alex. You gotta believe me. It's true, Mom. John wasn't using me. He was trying to protect me. Look, I screwed up. I became a part of something that turned bad. Not a day goes by that I don't regret it. But I'm a different person now. I want to be with you. I'm a cop, and you're a wanted criminal. Forgive me, but I don't see how that could work. Mom, look around. Things are happening. Change is happening. Give John another chance. He screwed up, but we all make mistakes. You, for instance. Me? Yeah, I mean, come on, Mom. You know what Tyrek is doing to teens. I... I do. Yes. You really want to keep working for a government that does that? No. I haven't wanted to do my job for a long time now. But I did it. For you. Well, you no longer have to, Mom! Now please, lower your gun! We can cross together. There's nothing keeping us here. We can leave. Mom, what do you think? Kid, you can come if you want. Supporters on the other side of the wall have broken through and are now fighting the border forces with the brigades. Could this be it? Is the revolution really happening? <laughs> Now might be a good time to go, sir. The uprising that started that day spread to most of Petria, ensuring a fair, democratic election. Flores won by a landslide and promised to repeal much of what Tyrak had done. Tyrak was arrested and tried for his crimes. The iron pits were closed 
and the wall came down as well. Though it's far too early to tell what the future of my country holds, for the first time in many years, there is hope. And that, at the very least, is a good place to start. <laughs>